All right, hi guys. Uh, my name is Lindy, and welcome to another episode of Bookworm Diaries. My book for today is called "In Every Mirror She's Black." In every mirror she's black. Um, first and foremost, this is such a beautiful book. I give it out of ten. I give this book a solid. 10 out of 10. So without going into a lot of details, because I really want you to experience uh, every emotion, every little thing about this book, I really want you to go through it. So I'm just going to discuss a bit about it, what I enjoyed about it. And yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything that I didn't enjoy about it. So um, it's an author, I can't pronounce her name, unfortunately. Oh. Right? Uh, but... Um, She's also based, she's based in Sweden. She's Nigerian, but she's based in uh, Sweden. So yeah, um, so this book is based on three, around three black women. So there's three black women. Woman number one, her name is um, Kemi, and she is in America. And she is this big hot shot. She's an American, um, sorry, she's in marketing and she's a, she's a marketing exec. So she's like literally at the top of her career and she's black. So, you know, but there's something missing. She can't find love. She meets people, but she can't find love. So um, she gets approached. She gets um, headhunted by this uh, company based in Sweden. They are like a, a marketing uh, company. They headhunted they call her they're like listen we want you and she's won like i think two um awards marketing awards and she's like a big deal so they approach her this company approaches her and like listen she had never thought of leaving um, america she was happy with her job and they approached her and they said listen we want you you are the biggest thing and she had doubts but she was just like you know what maybe if i go to sweden i will find love because, I mean, she's approaching 40 and she's not married. She's got a twin sister. Her twin sister is married and got children. She doesn't have children. She just feels like maybe moving to Sweden will not be a bad idea because they are offering her like twice what she's getting paid currently. And they're offering to move her. She doesn't have to pay for anything. They just really need her there. So she goes there thinking maybe I will get love and, and, and I'll start a new life. This is it for me in America. And that's it. But little does she know that when she gets to Sweden, like a lot of things are going to change. Firstly, um, her duties at work. Now it's no longer the same what they promised her and, 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 and she's in a country where there's a lot of, you know, white people and she's just struggling to fit in. She can't make friends. Everyone is just like so, everyone's not friendly. People are not friendly. They're just there to work and go to their families so she can't even make friends. A lot of things happen while she's trying to find love. Right, so that's our goal number one. Number two um, is a girl, a black girl named Brittany Ray. So Brittany is one of those she's a model she was a model um and while she was a model um she used to date a white man who promised her the world but things didn't go according to plan and they broke up and she saw that she would never date a white man she is also based in america so then she um becomes a flight attendant and um everything's go well she's got a black boyfriend and you know she's just ready for him to pop the question at any time so fine um so while working um she meets this white man good looking blue eyes blonde hair you know in the movies <laughs> so she meets this guy uh, in a plane and this guy's just giving her um his card and he says Please call me. I want to see you again. And at first, she's just like, whatever. But she takes the card. And then um, she goes back to her place. And, um, you know, long story short, they eventually end up together. She dumps the black guy. And now she is with this white guy. But this white guy is also based in Sweden. And he is stinking rich. 
stinking rich. Everything's just perfect. I mean, good in bed, rich, they are happy, but there's red flags in here, but she's just like not there. She's just happy. This guy's just like, you know, when someone is bombarding you with love, she, he's just like, you know, bombarding her with love and, you know, and she's just like skeptical at first, but she's just like, okay, he loves me. And also she saw after the first uh, white guy broke her heart, she was just like, I'm never dating a white guy again. But this guy was just like here yeah, sending flowers and doing all sorts of things. And he eventually, she eventually gave in. So fine. And they start dating a couple of months. She's still working. They're commuting. They can't sing each other like every other two weeks or whatever. They're just trying to make it work. And um, she eventually marries him and they have a child and she moves to Sweden. And a whole lot of things, she discovers a whole lot of things about him after she moved to Sweden. Right, that's our girl number two. Now, our girl number three, um, her name is Muna. She's a black girl. All these girls are black black girls so Mona she's just an 18 year old who uh, fleed her country um, she's from Somali she flees her country obviously looking for a better life I don't know what was happening in her country um, then she goes to Sweden but she in the process of fleeing her mother and brother died um, and she moved to Sweden all by herself. So you're all alone in a different country. Your dad firstly died, your mom, your brother died, and you're all here alone. So they, in Sweden, they were in an asylum for like two years. So here she falls in love with this guy called Ahmed. Um, but you know everyone is trying to get like um citizenship and starting a new life there and and they keep going to apply for citizenship until she got it and um as she was about to leave this guy that she felt nothing really happened between the two of them with him and this Ahmed guy nothing really happened but um Ahmed was just dealing with a lot he was dealing with a lot and he eventually killed himself so this girl um, got citizenship and she left this asylum. But she just had that thing that everyone that she loved um, left her. First it was her dad, then it was mom, brother. Then this Ahmed guy that she fell in love with uh, killed himself. And now she's now in Sweden just trying to get a job and just start her life. And she befriends these girls where she lives. and But things just, you know, everyone that she gets close to eventually leaves her. So these girls that were her roommates, they, they eventually left as well. A lot of things happened with them. And she makes friends with this older woman who also just died at the, at the end um, from cancer. So, like, she just went through the most. But um, all these three girls ladies three black ladies somehow their stories intertwine so they did meet at some point in their lives um but bottom line is they just could not find happiness it it was just impossible so yeah i can't wait for you to to read this book it is such an easy read it i read it in literally it's 396 pages, I think. I, I read it in three days because I could not put it down. I loved, I loved everything about it. I mean, it tackles on racism. It tackles on women trying to find love, women into relationships, uh, interracial relationships. Like, it, it touches on a whole lot of things. I love reading such books um, because there's so much to... I relate. Well, I don't really relate because... I mean, I've never, tr I've never stayed outside my country and I've never tried to find love outside of my race. But um, there's just so much to learn from it. I loved, I loved, I loved. I'm sad that I finished reading it, but go read it. Go buy it. I loved it. Absolutely. So um, don't forget um, to subscribe if you like my reviews. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.